Y'all, we are in Tombstone, the real Tombstone. It's like an old western town. I've always wanted to come through one of these. It is, it's so cool. So the building right here is, it says it's from 1881. That's when most of these buildings were built is in that era. The, the road is not paved. Gravel. It even smells like horse, which is, I don't know how because there's no horses around here. But mm. <laughs> this is cool. Let's go take a look. Yeah. This is the Bird Cage Theater as preserved since 1881. And if the ladies had to cross this bridge from side to side, it was known as the Cap. So if you were with the Lady of the Night, you were probably in the wings on the casino floor gambling, playing faro, blackjack, or dice. And it's the site of the world famous handkerchief duel between Doc Holiday and Johnny Ringo. Of course, they didn't kill each other. They were both quite drunk. They just added to the bullet holes in the building. We had 16 gunfights, 26 people died. We have a total of 140 bullet holes throughout the building. <laughs> we had to come in and do the full tour of the birdhouse. They said up front that this is the only building that is completely original from 1881, and it's still being maintained as the same type of building. So a lot of buildings further down have been repurposed, but this one has always been the birdcage, and still is the birdcage, but it's a museum. What is the birdcage? It's a theater. It's a body theater. It was a body theater, but it's called the birdcage because of these little booths up here that um, you could rent off the booth to watch the show and you could have a lady visitor up in the booth with you if you would like. Yeah, everything is original from the ceiling to the lamps to the draperies, everything. The floors is all original and you saw the bullet holes. There's several bullet holes throughout the lobby in there, but you saw a couple of them. Really, really neat. And speaking of bullets, this is interesting. So it says that Dr. Goodfellow was the most famous bullet remover and here are his tools with a bullet attached to them. This is the original Pharaoh table where Doc Holliday played and dealt Pharaoh. Doc Holliday and Johnny Ringo had their famous duel between the Pharaoh table and the grand piano. Yeah, that's the original Boot Hill hearse. You know there's been a lot of dead people in that thing going up and down those dirt roads that we were just walking on. So we're up on the stage now. We went up a really rickety set of stairs, but it's interesting reading the things on the walls in here. Shows were in this theater, everything from exotic dancers to professional singers that had toured around the world. So very interesting a collection of what happens here in this theater. A water trough back there for horses. You don't see that very often. <laughs> that looks all original too. Wyatt Earp opening an Oriental Saloon. I could be wrong, but this is Wyatt Earp's Oriental Saloon that was says it was established in 1880. Did walk inside. It's an old saloon, but uh, I'm curious about the history now. Welcome to Wyatt Earp's Oriental Saloon. Hot lead and cold beer since 1880. Well, I guess I was proven wrong. According to this, Wyatt Earp really did own this place. And it says that Doc Holliday's first gunfight took place here. And there's Doc Holliday. And wider. And wider. Remember when we walked in and I said it smelled like horse and I couldn't figure out why? Well, at that point, I didn't see any horses. There are horses. <laughs> Check out the hitching post. Right there, y'all. That's where they used to tie the horses up. And you really feel like you're in an old western town right here in Tombstone. A lot of souvenir shops, a lot of saloons. You can definitely get your drink on in here and feel like you are in a western town. Don't see any outlaws running around slinging their guns. Yeah, buddy. Pretty tame around these parts right here. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Here is the shady 
ladies closet. That's where all the girls go and get fluffed up before they go to work down over at the birdcage. And then, oh, here's rafter and jerky. Miss Penis Incredible Pecan Pie. Local grown pecans, pistachio, dry fruits, and souvenirs. Am I saying that right? No, it's not Miss Penis. It's pennies. It's pennies. P-E-N-N-I, apostrophe S. The apostrophe's very little, it's hard to see. Ah, my gosh. <laughs> All I could see was penis. We have Silver Strike Winery, Outlaw Outfitters. So you can get like all things Western wear. There you are. I'm reading the history of the OK Corral. So this is it. This is the location of the gunfight at the OK Corral. You can go inside here and you can, I think you can buy a ticket to go in the corral area. Um, they also do recreations during the day and we missed it. We're here too late for that. I didn't know that or else, you know, maybe we would have tried to get here earlier, who knows. But anyway, let's go check it out. Well, there's the movie. Yeah. Jim Stone, the movie. Great movie. So we missed the reenactment. Yeah, so three o'clock's the last reenactment. It's about 4.30 now. But man, that would have been cool to see. Um, this was an impromptu trip, so we didn't know, like we were coming here until last night. So we didn't know those things. But if you're gonna come to Tombstone, check the times for the reenactments because that would have been really cool to see. We've been doing everything impromptu. Yeah, we're kind of on the fly today. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely recommend coming here though. Tim really Stone neat rocks. place. Really cool. So the nice lady was just saying that the uh, vigilantes, it's like another like performing group. They actually hold the gunfights out in the streets here to reenact how it was back in the day. I think that would be really cool. Sucks we missed the last showing today. I wanted to see some throwdown, some quick draw McGraw action. That would have been awesome. Yeah. We've reached the end of the main street. So yeah, it goes we... over like another block. Yeah, let's go walk that way. Lots of super cool things to do here. Like eat ice cream. There's some ice cream there. There's a little book nook. If you like books, for all you book people, can get you some books here in Tombstone. Oh, I see an old Southern Pacific rail car, a caboose. Tombstone's cool, y'all. You got to come check this out, man. You feel like you're in the old west. All right, here's a, oh, here's the Tombstone Trolley Tours. So you can hop on a trolley and I'll take you all around the streets here in Tombstone. They even got a tattoo parlor over here if you guys want to get you a cool tattoo here at Tombstone. That'd be kind of neat. The old Tombstone Western Town. Neat little area of Tombstone here, but it's closed for the day. So we're not going to be able to do anything in there. They got the Gunfighter Museum, it's closed. The Hitching Post Cafe, lots of little things to do in here, but it's closed for the day. It's kind of quiet. Of course, we're in the off season. During the summer months, this place is probably hopping about this time. It's 4.30 right now. But a lot of the stuff is shutting down early. There's still some people here and it's still fun, but I bet it would be really cool to come in the peak seasons. But I do like the colder temperatures. Yeah. Okay, goodbye Tombstone. This place rocks, it's really cool. We made it out alive. No outlaws got us today. Here comes the horses, one last time. Yeah, this is a really cool place. I, this is a place you could come spend the whole day. You could like have your, your pictures made in the old timey Western garb, that would be cool. There's restaurants, there's bars, there's all kinds of stuff. Pretty neat town. Yeah, very neat. Check it out if you have never been to Tombstone. You won't be disappointed, it is really neat.